Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Previously we have learnt about keys in servlets. In this tutorial we will learn about sessions. Session is a time interval when a user is active on a web. Whenever you log into your email account or whenever you do some shopping on an e-commerce website, they create a session for you. Uh, on the top right, on the top right corner, uh, they display your photograph or your name, and then on every single page that you visit, your name or your photo appears there on that top right corner or on some other place. So, how does every single page of the website is aware of your name, your photograph, or your email ID? Means simply it is it is aware of your basic personal information so how does the web application maintains this information whenever uh, you log into some website the application keeps your basic personal information inside an object called session object and that session object is available on every single page that you visit so this is how the application fetch your personal information on every single page and shows the same. So to understand how exactly does the application sets your uh, name inside the session object and retrieves it on some other page, uh, we will create an example. So let's get started. Let's create a new a dynamic web project, say session. So in this application, we will first create an HTML file, like HTML, let its name be index.html, we will finish here. Here, we will create a simple form, which has a text box, input type, is equal to text and name is equal to uh, let it fetch the first name of the user so first name and let's have a button here input type is equal to submit which will uh, submit this form data to some survey So let us go to, so let's submit uh, this data to some servlet, say my servlet, and let's save it. <coughs> so whenever a user will come, he will just uh, fill up some basic information and then submit the same which will be submitted to my servlet. So let's create this uh, servlet. Uh, here you can create a new servlet by simply pressing this or you can even uh, right click and go to new servlet. Let the name of the class be my servlet next this is the URL, url pattern that we want so just give a finish here so now let's fetch the username here string name is equal to request dot get parameter fetch the name from the first name text box now what we need to do is we need to tell the application that we want to set this name inside this session so to get the session object what we need to do is we need to use this request object request dot get session so this get session method will give us an object of http session so just write down http session 
session is equal to request dot get session. Now, if we want this name to be available on every single page of this application, what we will do is we will just set this inside this session session dot set attribute. The attribute name will be say username and the value of this attribute will be uh, this so just copy and paste it here now and let's say response dot get writer this get writer method gives us an object of print writer so just create a reference of print writer Here we will just print and say hi. And then we will print one more line, say print. Your name has been set in the session. Now we want the user to be redirected to some other page. So let's give a hyperlink here. Print writer dot print ln. Here we will write a simple HTML tag. A href is equal to and since we cannot write double quotes inside double quotes so what we will do is we will use single quotes here so let the user be redirect so let's redirect the user uh, to some output survey output and ask the user to click here and just close this tag so all set now the username has been set inside the session and we have printed some messages here and then when the user will click on this link he or she will be assigned to this output servlet. So let's create a new servlet with name output servlet. Output servlet. Next. And give a finish here. And here inside the do get method, what we will do is we will again create an object of HTTP session session is equal to and we will get the session object using this request object request dot get session so here since we want to uh, just print the name of the user what we will do is we will print response dot get writer dot print welcome and here what we can simply do is you we will do a session dot since our attribute is set inside this session object so we will do a session dot get attribute and the name of the attribute here was username so just copy this and paste it here so this will get us the attribute name let's save this and let's run this 
Round seven. Do I finish share? So here, let me type my name, Arjun, and submit query. Hi Arjun, your name has been set in the session. So when I click here, on the other page, on the output servlet, it is showing me my name, welcome Arjun. So this way, the application is able to remember my name on every single page that I visit. One more thing here is that as I set some attributes here, I can set one or more attributes. Similarly, I can use other methods of the session objects as well. So suppose I want to unset some attribute. So what I will do is session dot remove attribute. So if I pass name of an attribute, then it will be unset from the session. There are some other important methods as well. Suppose a user wants to log out after some point. So what we need to do is we have to uh, disconnect the session. We have to close the session. So to close the session, when a user is willing to log out or a user has pressed the logout button, what we will do is we will simply do a session dot invalidate. So this will invalidate the current session. I hope the video was informative. In case you have any question or suggestion, kindly feel free to write down in the comment box given below. For more such videos, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for your time.